I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of afraid making this video and I'm even more afraid to post it. And I realized that because I am afraid, that is the exact reason that I need to say this. And I'm not the most eloquent person in the world. So know right now that I don't mean to hurt anyone. I'm mostly just gonna talk about my feelings. Now I've been a part of the 100 fandom since the show began. I'm not particularly outspoken, I just reblog stuff. But ever since 307, there has been so much drama and so much conflict. And I need it all to stop. Now Lexa died in 307. And she died because a stray bullet hit her, which is first of all fucking ridiculous. And second of all, another death in a very, very problematic pattern of violence against LGBT characters, especially lesbian characters. And people loved Lexa. I loved Lexa. And people loved Clark and Lexa together, and obviously when she died, people were furious. Because, yeah, we knew Alicia was tied to Free the Walking Dead, but yet another dead lesbian on television on a disgustingly long list. And people were angry, as they should have been. People were devastated because they really connected with Lexa. I loved her as a character. I'm... Can I connected with Clark, a bisexual lead? That's that's my person, you know. But when Lexa died, and now eventually Clexa died because Lexa died, people were broken up about that, and people were angry because the barrier gaze trope has been persistent for so long now, and this was the straw that broke the camel's back. Because The 100 was becoming a show that was breaking boundaries. First of all, it was on the CW. And it came up with these complex, dark, but deep storylines. Unlike Game of Thrones, the violence was not just, you know, there for the sake of violence. It was a part of a very complex political system. And... A very very murky exploration of morality and what it means to survive when you're given circumstances this dire. But that stray bullet came out of nowhere and that is how the LGBT community responded. That's why they responded with so much anger because it was an injustice. And people were furious with Jason Rothenberg. I'm furious with Jason Rothenberg. More because of the Ricky Riddle situation. But I get this. Anyway. This anger is justified. And I was so proud to see that people were channeling this anger into making a difference. The insane amount of money donated to Trevor Project in the name of this show, in the name of this character. That is how change is made. That is how art affects life. Because of course it does. People connected with the show, people connected with Lexa. And people wanted to make, wanted her to mean something. And they made it happen. They brought her to life in every piece of art every meta, everything. But then the anger started becoming widespread. It wasn't about the injustice to Lexa anymore. It wasn't about the injustice to Lexa. It wasn't about how the LGBT community has been consistently treated badly in media. It became about putting down ships. It became about actively working to get a show cancelled and it became about manifesting your hatred in a, in a destructive way. 
And that's where the problem arises. I'm a multi-shipper. I loved Klexa. I love Bellark. So let's start there, because in the larger and on a macro level, a ship war is not that big a deal. But with the amount of mud being thrown, I need to address it. Because I loved both these relationships and seeing how the end of one of them is re leading to so much vitriol against another is making me upset. So let me clarify. Are people upset about Bellarc because they think it's heteronormative? Because they think pushing Clark towards Bellamy after Lexa just died is disrespectful? Because they hate Bellamy? Do they hate Bellamy because of Clexa? Or do they hate Bellamy on the decisions he based on the decisions he made? Because whatever it is, the amount of vitriol being spewed is Abuse, it's dangerous. It's sad and it affects people because these are people behind screens. And when you write, it makes a difference. Everything you say, if you say someone who ships Bell Arc is a terrible person or is homophobic, which doesn't make sense to me, it, it chips away at someone. That someone isn't me, but it feels like me because I think, is there something wrong with me? Because I loved Klexa too, but is there something wrong with me for also liking Bellamy and Clark together? So let me some clarify some stuff. At least from what I have seen of a fandom, the Bellarc fandom, who are trying to keep the positivity up in the face of a lot of drama. You say that pushing Clark towards Bellamy in the wake of Lexa's death is disrespectful. I agree, it is. But that's not what's happening. Clark and Bellamy have been connected from the very beginning. Their relationship has been progressing and developing and becoming deeper, more profound from the very beginning. And whether or not they become romantic, I personally don't think they are going to this season or even well into next season. It's going to be a slower burn than that is what I hope will happen, given the amount of character work left to be done. But either way, Bellamy and Clark is not in spite of, because of, or, you know, related to Lexa and Clark at all. And I know you loved Lexa, but you don't need to hate on Bellamy. Now, the whole massacre situation, it's murky. He did murder 300 people. But are anyone's hands clean? Clark irradiated and committed genocide to save her people. Bellamy thought he was saving his people. He acted in anger. He acted out of revenge and hurt. Yes. But this is the hundred. The world has always been ruthless. People have been culled. People have been burned alive. People have been tortured for less. And... This much vitriol towards one character in order to defend another character who had nothing to do with him does not make sense to me. Now, God, I don't know why I'm having so much trouble talking about this. When it comes to getting the hundred cancelled, I get it, you're angry. Lexa is dead, she was your favorite character, she was someone who meant something to you, who changed something in you, someone you connected with. But she was not the hundred. It didn't start with her, it started somewhere completely different. And what is getting the show cancelled going to accomplish? What's it gonna do? So, you write letters, you get angry, you manage to somehow lower ratings, I don't know how that's gonna happen, but you do it somehow. And eventually, if Rosenberg gets fired, I'm not going to complain. I think he's a piece of shit. But if the show gets cancelled, what are you doing? You're going to free the cast, a cast who loves each other, a cast who likes the show, they like their characters. You're going to free them from what? From employment? You're going to undermine a lot of hard work by a host of people because you're angry 
about something that you should have been angry about, but you're directing it towards something that has nothing to do with it. This isn't about a single TV show. It's about a pattern in media. It's about rights. It's about representation. Don't laser focus it on a show or a ship or a character or God forbid an actor. Don't do that. Because you're perpetuating even more violence, okay? Abuse will beget abuse. Hate will beget hate. So keep raising money for the Tre Trevor Project. Keep Lexa's memory alive. Okay? Ship Clark and Lexa, they were beautiful together. But don't undermine someone else's joy just to perpetuate your own. Just to make you feel vindicated. To make you feel, what, vengeful? I don't know. My point is, stop the violence.